So g going forward, how would you say that uh, artificial intelligence will affect human life? I mean, will it take jobs, or will it replace humans, or will it be a, a positive force? So I think in, in the short term, it's probably easier to make predictions. And I think the short term is going to help us a lot. Um, if you think of things like accidents, car accidents, an AI would a good AI would not make those mistakes. It would always be paying attention. We wouldn't have deaths from car accidents. We would have AIs that can power robots to help us with chores at home that can maybe help people to live independently longer, maybe even indefinitely without having to go to homes, without having to need somebody to stop by every day to help them out. And so I think maintaining independence will be a big thing for the combination of AI and robots. Um, also think a lot of our digital life could be simplified. And an AI that lives in our computer will be able to understand what we try to get done. Our work will be more efficient. Um, I think very often when we work on something, we're typing something, and we, we feel like, okay, this is now going to be a pretty repetitive thing that I need to repeat a few times. And it's obvious what's going to happen next thing what you type. Um, so I think things like that. An AI could really streamline a lot of the things that we do. Um, and that's going to be really nice. In the longer run, of course, I think there are some things to, to be aware of. Uh, one of them is, um, as an AI is able to do maybe something otherwise a human would do, for example, driving a car, um, that would mean that that job might not exist anymore. So the, the job of driving taxis, driving trucks, and so forth, might start disappearing in the next, who knows, five, 10 years. And so I think it'll be really important to think about what that will do to society, how maybe we can re-educate some of the people who do that as their job and, and how maybe they can adapt to the new technology, maybe they can do something else. Now we have self-driving cars, maybe there's a complementary new market that opens up, that opens up new jobs for people. Um, I think traditionally people adapt very well to changing environments. Um, but one interesting thing here is going to be, well, how quickly are things going to change? And that's hard to predict. Because I think if things change slowly, uh, people will adapt and find a way. But if things change very, very quickly, um, that's where I think we need to be uh, thinking ahead carefully about how to, how to handle that. Well, it appears, though, at the rate things are going, things will indeed change quickly. Is it true? Well, I, I would say in, in the past few years, it is true that um, there have been quite a few breakthroughs um, and results that are you know, well, well beyond what was possible before. Um, so it is the kind of thing that it's hard to predict. Often things go fast for a while and then all of a sudden you hit a wall research-wise and, and things slow down again. Um, but it could also be that things keep going fast and then, yeah, then things could happen quickly and we'd want to plan ahead and think about, okay, what kind of capabilities will these AIs have? What, what can we do to collaborate with them, to coexist with these capabilities? Um, absolutely. Is there a point where you think the actual singul singularity will occur, the, the Ray Kurzweil concept of, of AI actually outstripping the human mind? So it's an interesting question to think about what are the limits of what, what an intelligent system could do, right? And so one, one thing to th that of course comes to mind is, well, if you think about what's sitting in our heads, right, it's we think of it as largely storage and computation, right? So it's storage and computation with some sensory inputs and some outputs, right? So it's, it's likely that whenever we build a digital system that has equal amounts of computation power and has some sensory inputs some outputs, has a reasonable amount of storage that's comparable, and then at that point it's really a matter of having a program that's comparable to something intelligent that lives inside our brains, right? And when that exists, then it could be quite comparable to human intelligence. And then the question, of course, is um, when, when that exists, I guess, um, if, you, if it can run at a higher clock speed or if it can be running at all times or it can more easily copy and paste like matrix style, right? In the matrix, you can download a skill into your brain. Now, if it's a computer already, of course you can download something from another computer, or at least very likely it would be able to. So I think there are some very interesting things there that could happen that are, are kind of hard to wrap our heads around.